What is the Trinity in Christianity? Hey everyone, today I would like to talk about the Holy Trinity. Let's jump right into this. The Trinity describes the nature of God as a unity of three distinct persons. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. God the Father. God the Father is the creator of the universe and the source of all life. He is the loving and caring Father who sent Jesus into the world for the salvation of humanity. God the Son. Jesus Christ is the Son of God and is both fully divine and fully human. Jesus became incarnate to live among humans, teach about God's kingdom, die on the cross for the forgiveness of sins, and rise from the dead, offering salvation to believers. God the Holy Spirit The Holy Spirit is the active presence of God in the world today. The Holy Spirit is sent to dwell within believers, guiding, empowering, and transforming them. The Holy Spirit is a comforter, advocate, and teacher. Now let's take a look at a few scriptures that help us to tie this all together. Matthew 28 verse 19 This verse is known as the Great Commission where Jesus instructs his disciples to baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. 2 Corinthians 13 verse 14 This verse mentions the three persons of the Trinity, Jesus Christ, God the Father, and the Holy Spirit. John 14 verse 16 through 17. In these verses, Jesus speaks about the coming of the Holy Spirit from the Father. John 1 through 14. This passage from the Gospel of John identifies Jesus, the Word, as both with God and as God. John 15 verse 26. Jesus speaks about sending the Holy Spirit from the Father, emphasizing their interconnected roles. The Trinity asserts that these three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, are distinct from one another, yet eternally united, sharing the same divine nature. They are co-equal, co-eternal, and exists in perfect unity. Before I close, I would just like to take a moment to thank God for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for enlightenment, discernment, revelation, guidance, and empowerment. In Jesus' name, Amen. That's all I have for today. Be sure to check back for new videos that I will post as I continue to study the Bible.